When you think about where fish on your plate comes from, what comes to mind? Maybe a fisherman casting his line out to sea to get a day's catch. Or what about trawlers hauling fish out of the oceans with their large nets? What you probably don't think about is this, a fish farm. This is Plant Based News and here's four shocking things you really need to know about fish farming. Number one. Most people have idealistic images of fishing, but more than half of all fish consumed globally actually come from underwater factory farms. Tuna, salmon, carp, sea bass, catfish and cod are all just a few of the species that are farmed within the confines of these facilities. There are billions of animals in intensive fish farms at any given time. Number two. These farming systems are designed with economics in mind, rather than the needs of animals and can lead to dire consequences. Most farmed fish are reared in what can essentially be considered low welfare conditions. Salmon, which are on average 75 centimeters long, can be given the equivalent of just a bathtub of water each. Overcrowded fish are more susceptible to disease and suffering and stress, aggression and physical injuries such as fin damage. Along with a lack of oxygen, overcrowding can often lead to poor water quality, so fish have less oxygen to breathe. Good animal welfare depends on taking care of three important components – physical well-being, mental well-being and natural living. In intensive fish farms, all three of these are neglected as fish are kept in overcrowded and barren conditions, and often subject to stressful handling procedures and inhumane slaughter methods. Number three, with such a huge number of animals in these highly confined pens, these farms will obviously produce a lot of waste, be that from uneaten food, feces or animals that have died. These products are generally flushed out of the pens and can result in dangerous contamination of the surrounding environment. Waste is not the only thing that can leak out. Due to the fish's intensive environment, buildups of disease and infections can occur and this will need treatment. Pesticides and drugs can also leak out. Fish farms can also be breeding grounds for parasites including sea lice, which if left uncontrolled can again leak out and have a devastating effect on the wild animal populations surrounding the farms. Number 4. This leads to the effect on us as humans and our health. Most wild fish are already victims of environmental pollution and suffer from varying degrees of contamination. Being stuck out in the ocean alongside the wild populations these same pollution issues can also affect fish inside these giant farms. Mix this with all the antibiotics, drugs and waste we mentioned before and we're starting to already brew a dangerous concoction. Research has also shown that one of the biggest sources of toxic exposure is actually from the fish's pellet feed. These pellets are actually made from waste fish and human edible fish that is often stored in bad conditions, where they rot and pathogens start to thrive. They can also contain a number of drugs and chemicals that are fed directly to the farmed fish. A shocking example of this is the Norway farmed salmon, which is now considered one of the most toxic foods in the world. Do you really want to be putting that into your body? So with all that being said, what can we do about this problem? Maybe it's time to rethink fish and leave them off our plate for good.